So this is an I2C module made specifically for a 16 cross 2 LCD display to save a lot of GPIO pins of your microcontroller board. So generally when we need to use that display with any of the microcontroller board, we need to have around 6 to 10 GPIO pins to completely use that display. But when we attach this model with our display, we can interact with the display by just using two GPIO pins, which is awesome. And that awesomeness is due to the I2C communication protocol, which is used by this module. So in this video, I'll let you know everything about this module, like how to attach it with the display and how to use that display with the ESP32 board, of course, by using two GPIO pins only. And we'll see further, like, can we attach multiple displays on those two pins only or not? Well, we'll have a look over all of this in this video. So let's quickly get started. Do you know what most electronic companies have something in common? Well, it's the tool that they use for making their products and the most commonly used tool that almost all the big electronic companies uses is the LTM PCB designer software. Using LTM, you can definitely level up your PCB designing skills and make something really professional out of it. And now along with the integration of Octopart, searching for any electronic components globally becomes really very easy. Octopart is kind of Google for just electronic components where you can search for any electronic parts and get that information all on one single web page. So do check out this amazing search engine made just for electronic components. I'll leave the link for this down in the description. Do check it out. So here is the I2C module and you can get this module easily from techiesms.com website whose link is down in the description of this video. So this I2C module is based on PCF8574 TATE chip, which is basically an I2C based GPIO extender, means we can use this IC and we can get 8 GPIO pins by just attaching 2 GPIO pins of any microcontroller board. Maybe in future I can get that specific IC and use it to expand the GPIO pins of the small microcontroller boards. What do you say? But well, if I talk about this module, then this module is based specifically for 16 cross 2 display as this module not only have the IO extender chip, but it also has a potentiometer to control the brightness of the display, couple of resistors, a power LED, well, it do have a backlight jumper. And also there are three address pin, which are used to set the address of the I2C module that we'll look at it in the coding part. Now let's see how to use this module. So for that, I'm using this 16 cross 2 LCD display with a green color backlight, which is also available at the cheapest price on internet from Techie SMS, whose link you can definitely find in the description of this video. And now what I'll do is I'll directly shoulder this I2C module with our display. Now after shouldering, I'll make the connection of this I2C module with the ESP32 board according to this connection diagram. Now let's jump on to computer and let's see how to program the ESP32 board to actually use the LCD display. Okay, so after making the connection, we first need to find the address of the I2C module. So every I2C based device has a particular address and based upon that address, we can communicate with that particular I2C device. So this I2C module also has an address. So first of all, uh, I'm finding the address with all the three pins like A0, A1 and A2 in the open condition. I haven't shouldered any of the pins. And after that, what I'll do is I'll upload this code. So I'll select the right board, which is do it ESP32 DevKit V1, write COM port and I'll directly hit the upload button and let first find out what's the address of our I2C module. Okay, so the code started uploading and it's done uploading. So I'll open the serial monitor. And as you can see, scanning I2C device and the address found is zero cross 27. So this is the address of my I2C module with all the three pins in open condition. When we short one of the pin, maybe A0, A1, A2, or all of the pins, the address changes instantaneously. Now, why is it so? So whenever we want to interface this module for multiple displays, we need to have different address for different displays. Hence, they have provided this address pins as well. After showing you the demo example code for this LCD, I'll let you know uh, what happens when we shoulder one of the pins or one of the address pin, how the address changes, I'll let you know uh, in the later part of this video, okay? As of now, our address is zero cross two cents. I'll copy this address. And after that, I'll open this example code and here I need to provide the address here, which is zero cross 27. Now to use this code, you first need to have this library called as liquid crystal underscore I2C, which you can get it by going to sketch into include libraries and into manage libraries. So I'll type liquid crystal underscore I2C, I'll press enter and when I scroll down, uh, 
Okay, here is the library from Marco. You need to install this particular library for this particular example code. Okay, so I already installed, so it is not showing in my case, but in your case, you just need to click on the install button. That's it. Click on the close button, and this code, what it will do is it will just print hello world onto the LCD monitor or the LCD display after a delay of one second. Okay, so let's just upload this sample code itself and let's just see how it responds. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll select the right COM board, which is already selected. I'll say I press the upload button. Okay, so the code is successfully uploaded. And if I show you what's a uh, response I'm getting in the LCD monitor by opening the smartphone's camera, then let me just show you. So yeah, here is that LCD. As you can see, it's showing hello world, okay, with a delay of one second. So the code is working. The I2C module is working perfectly fine. And you can make any changes in the code that you want. You can change the row and column. You can change the message that you want to display. It's pretty straightforward, okay? Now here's one question. Uh, can we attach multiple I2C based devices on this two pins or not? Well, let's just, you know, practically test it out and see what happens. So what I'll do is I'll take this LCD model along with the I2C model, of course. And also I'll use an OLED uh, display, which is already based on I2C communication. And I'll make the connection according to this connection diagram. So as you can see, both the displays are connected at the common I2C pin, okay? So after making the connection, I have prepared this particular code for the both the displays. So what I did here is I provide the address of the LCD display, which is zero cross 27. And also for the OLED display, the address is zero cross three C. So make sure both the addresses are different. It won't work for the same address. That's the only issue in the I2C communication, okay? So after that, what I'm doing is I'm printing the hello from LCD on the LCD uh, display and hello from OLED onto the OLED display. Now I'll upload this code and let's see if it works or not. Okay, so as you can see, I'm getting the proper message on both the displays. So you can connect multiple such I2C based device on those two pins only. Like you can connect up to 127 devices by that two pins. That's the beauty of I2C communication. And we just, you know, lowered down a lot of GPI pins. We saved a lot of GPI pins by using this I2C model, which is an amazing part of this model. So do click the like button if you're already loving this particular um, I2C model and want to use it, okay? So now what I'll do is I'll shoulder the A0 pin, okay? And after that, let's just see what we get into the I2C scanner example code. So now after shouldering the A0 pin, let's just upload the I2C address finder code and let's see if the address changed or not. Let's just test it out. Okay, so the code started uploading and it's done uploading. I'll open the sale monitor and as you can see the address changed to 0 cross 26. So earlier it was 0 cross 27. Now it is 0 cross 26. So this is how by shorting uh, different different pins you can change the address uh, address of that I2C module and you can use multiple I2C module using both uh, using the same I2C pins of a same microcontroller board. So multiple uh, displays you can control using the I2C module. So yeah, that was it about how to use the I2C module along with a 16 cross 2 display to save a lot of GPI pins. I hope you like this video. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, version of a video, this type of video in which I used to introduce how to use a particular model. Do let me know what next you want me to try out in this kind of video series, like in which you want me to test out particular module, display or sensor and definitely make a detailed video about how to use that and how does it work. So do let me know your suggestion or what should I test next down in the comments of the video. So yeah, that was it about this video and I am just ending this video here and now just wait for my next video to explore, learn, share with me, Techie SMS.